Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about back to school chalkboards. Hello, my name's Nick. I'm the Bearded Housewife. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about back to school chalkboards. You know, I was browsing through my phone and looking at pictures from last year around this time when it was back to school, and I had just, apparently in a rush, uh, written down on a piece of paper, back to school 2019. It looked really bad, I have to admit. Total housewife fail, mom fail, dad fail, whatever you want to call it. Hashtag it, put it in Twitter, whatever. Uh, so this year I wanted to do something better because I have the fabulous Cricut machine in my life now. So I came up with these reusable chalkboards. Aren't they cool? I love how colorful they are. There's one for my daughter and one for my son. They're chalkboards so they can be reused whether you use chalk or chalk markers. Just take the pictures and then wipe everything off and put them away until next year. So why don't we head over to my blog, I'll show you how to get to the file, and then we can go into design space and we can customize it a little bit and then we'll go ahead and make it. Okay, we are here at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. We're gonna head down to the resource library tab. If you don't have access yet, you can click the get access tab, enter your email address and you'll be emailed the password. And but for now, we're going to head to enter the library, type in the password here, and hit enter, and we're brought to all the files. You're going to want to find the school milestone chalkboard file, click on it, and it will download into our computer, and then we can head over to design space and we can get started customizing it. Now we're in a new project in Design Space. We're gonna head over to Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where you downloaded on your computer and hit Open. You can change the name if you'd like, and then hit Save. Click on that image and hit Insert Image. It'll bring it into our canvas. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit here. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is hit ungroup and then head over to the text option on the left hand side and type in your text highlight that and find the font that you'd like to use if you need help on how to upload fonts into uh, Cricut Design Space there's a link in the description on how you can do that I'm going to select this uh, school text bring that over and for this particular font I am going to change the uh, the letter spacing to zero and then I want this to be white so I'm going to change the color bring it up into my design place it how I want it and I'm going to resize it just a little bit make it a little bit bigger go that looks good now you're gonna want to highlight all of the white highlight all of the white layers and hit attach you can do this for the other colors if you'd like if you want them to cut out the way that I have them in the design it's totally up to you it's however you want to um, lay your, your layers of vinyl down. Now the last thing that we're going to need to do is go down to the bottom and remove the black rectangle. That was just so that you could see what it would look like on the chalkboard but it is not part of the design so click that little eyeball and go up to make it. And I'm going to change all of my material to vinyl and we can go ahead and cut it. To make this, we're going to need the blank chalkboard. I'm 
all of our vinyl. Some transfer tape a weeding tool, and a scraper. I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything out. I'm going to fast forward a little bit on the video uh, so that you don't have to see me change all the mats out. All right, now that everything is weeded and cut out, obviously, um, I'm gonna trim up this white piece here. Just gonna remove all the extra white. And now we're gonna take some transfer tape I always use more transfer tape than necessary, but that's just my personal thing. It just, I don't know, makes me feel secure in placing the vinyl. But you're wanting to pull a little bit off of the roll and then use your hand to uh, press down so that you make sure that there's no air bubbles and that it does adhere well to the vinyl. I'm gonna trim off the extra. Take it off of the backing. And you're ready to place it onto the chalkboard. I always start at one edge, making sure that I line up all my edges, centering it the way that I need to. And I usually do one half. Press it down and then do the other half and use my scraper to get all the air bubbles out and slowly remove it. I don't know why, but this part is always so satisfying to me. Now we can repeat all the other layers. Start with the brown, then the beige, then the red, orange, blue, all the yellow pieces, and the green. Take everything off, and that's it. How easy is that? I love how it turned out, it's so colorful. What did you think? Not that hard at all. And I love how colorful they are. My kids were just bouncing up and down right next to me when I was finishing it up because they wanted to hold it. They, they're so excited about it. And they're excited about their first day of school, which means that daddy is excited about their first day of school. So whether your kids are doing virtual learning or they're doing in-person learning this year, you have to make this sign. It is so, so cool. If you like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. That way you know every time that I come out with a new video. Also head over to my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. I have lots of other craft tutorials, recipes, some back to school stuff on there too. Uh, make sure that you go and check it out. Until next time, guys, my name is Nick. I'm the Bearded Housewife. I will see you later. Bye.